Hello YouTube. This is a video on OS 10 Yosemite which was released yesterday. Just to go over the computer I'm running this on, or the Mac I must say. This is a Mac Pro early 2008 with a dual 2.8 GHz quad core Xeon, 8 gigs of RAM, Radeon 7950. And, uh, my boot drive is a 120GB SSD made by Kingston. It's an HyperX Fury. And it's a great little drive. So if you want to make sure that your Mac can actually run OS 10 Yosemite, you need to make sure that your graphics card is up to the job. Because that is, you know, combined with the RAM requirement, is pretty much the uh, are the only two real requirements for a Mac to be able to run Mavericks or Yosemite or even Mountain Lion. Most Mac Pros, especially 2006 and 2007 models, could not even run hard in line because they didn't have EFI 64-bit. Well, the Mac Pro 3.1 the one I'm using right here does have EFI 64-bit and is therefore, you know, allowed to run the 64-bit operating systems in full 64-bit mode. So yeah. The problem is though that um, a lot of Mac Pro 3.1 models actually came with unsupported graphics cards. I believe the base ATI graphics card was actually a Radeon X 1900 XT, which is not compatible with any OS other than Lion and, you know, Slow Snow Leopard and Leopard. So it's not compatible with Mountain Lion, Mavericks, and Yosemite. For that you need a GeForce 8000 series or higher, or Radeon HD 2000 series or higher. Or, of course, Intel HD graphics, which also will work just fine. So if your Mac has that, it can run Yosemite. And apparently I've got an update for iStat menus. That's great timing in the middle of a video. Thank you very much. But yeah, I also want to talk about uh, overall application compatibility on OS 10 Yosemite. It's throwing just a shitload of notifications at me today. So I've got the uh, Microsoft Office suite right here. It's Office 2011. Runs just fine. You can do all your various typing you want to do. Random text right there. Let's close that. Run Excel, PowerPoint. Those are the only real programs people actually use from the Office Suite. Let's close that. I haven't actually ever used Excel uh, yet on this installation. There we go. And uh, of course, I've got some other programs right here, like the Adobe CS5 Suite. Works just fine in OS 10 Yosemite. It's uh, a couple years old already, it's like 2010 or so. But it runs beautifully in Yosemite, I can tell you that. Let's open up Premiere here so you can see uh, that it loads up just fine, works just fine. you got to keep in mind that this particular Mac Pro only has SATA 2, so that really limits how fast of an SSD you can really use in these machines. But yeah, I can just import video right here. So let's go to, um, let's see, uh, raw files. Got some random stuff here. Import some more. Some clip there. Put it on there, put that there. We just want to render that. Sure, click on export and it will just go. Goes like stink. So it works perfectly, renders just fine. Photoshop works great. So pretty much if you're a you know a frequent user of the Adobe Suites and you're still, you know, contemplating whether you should upgrade, this is definitely the OS for you. Works just fine, takes better advantage of high resolution screens. It looks gorgeous on anything of 1080p and higher. Below that, maybe not so much. It's a matter of taste, anyway. And of course, you know, all your various web browsers work just fine. Let me open up Chrome and Firefox right here. I never actually run Firefox, it seems. There we go. Got Firefox open. Got Chrome there. All works just fine. But you know, the new Safari is actually a lot faster than it used to be, even in. Uh, and in the one that's used in Mavericks, pretty much has the same code in it. 
but this version is just gorgeous. I mean, look at that title bar. All the colors on the website just scroll right through. And of course the new tab view is gorgeous as well. Let me open up YouTube here. There we go. So you got a gorgeous tab view right here. If you have multiple tabs open of the same website, you know, it will just stack them. Let's see if I can pull that off. Let's see. Okay, that site is apparently not supported quite yet, but it doesn't matter. Anyway. But yeah, there are you know a lot of reasons to love Yosemite. I mean, if you like this look, well, I do, then uh, this is definitely the OS for you. If your Mac can run it, there's no reason not to upgrade. It doesn't run worse than Mavericks. So, you know, battery life isn't all that compromised on mobile platforms. I've tested it on my MacBook extensively and didn't really see a gain in battery life, but not a decline either, so that's all good. So, you know, if your Mac can handle it, if you have at least 4 gigs of RAM, if you have a capable graphics card, then certainly give Yosemite a try. If you like the new interface, go for it. All your programs will work just fine, no problems. And uh, overall, I think it's a very nice upgrade so far. So hopefully you've all enjoyed this video, and I thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.